Shalom. Okay, um, sounding the alarm on the shofar horn. I am really struggling with this microphone, but I'm going to try. I hope it's, it's okay now. Um, this horn here that you see, um, first of all, we came into the Feast of Trumpets, and we're in the season of the Most High Kadash days. And people pull out their trumpets and they blow the trumpets as the scripture says. Then we go into atonement where we fast and now we are in the time of tabernacles where we go out in our tents the way our people did it um, back in the days. This was a reminder of where we came from and this is a rem also a reminder of where we are going. Okay, um, I did a class for my family on this subject and I got to looking at this horn, you know, we from Babylon, we don't, we haven't been brought up in the way of the Most High from birth, and so many things we pick up from elsewhere, we pick up somewhere else other than the scripture. But if you look at this horn here, and I'm going to scroll a little bit, uh, you see these are different horns. And they come from different animals. Uh, these short ones here, they come from the ram. And I'm going to show you where this, this one here comes from. Okay. And you see people blowing both of these horns. Again, we're from a Babylon. We're, from, we're scattered all over the earth. And we don't know much about these horns. So, I look at our people and here is our people we found out with Yashara we grabbed the horns and we started blowing you can see all the different pictures here of our people blowing the horn now where did this horn come from is this horn in scripture these are the questions you must ask yourself is this horn in scripture and why is it that no one is pointing this out and we just continue to we continually doing what the others are doing and this actually this is come i'm gonna show you exactly what it's coming from first this is the show for on wikipedia okay and it says ancient musical horn made of ram's horn okay made of ram's horn all right nothing here stroll down see all the Jewish people blowing on this horn uh, feast days they're blowing on the horn and you come on down and we see here shape and material the choice of animal now now we're getting to the message here where does horn come from why are we blowing on it look what it says according to the Talmud according to the Talmud so this is where it's coming from the shofar may be made from the horn of any animal of the um, Bovidae family especially uh, except that of a cow although a ram is preferable okay so it's saying it, you know you can use any horn except from the cow and prefer Preferably a ram horn. Now, they're saying that it's okay. This here is, is a, a doll sheep and greater kudu. Okay, this is the horn that you see our people blowing on. Yasharal and the Jewish people. This is the horn they're blowing on. Okay, what is what an, what kind of animal is this? Let's see what this is. Kudo. So I put in kudo. Okay, it's a it's a deer type. It's a it's a wild animal. It's definitely a Venice. It's a deer. And nowhere in scripture, I look for this in scripture, this kudo. I, I look for him in scripture and I could not find him in scripture. But this is him. And the Most High is not pleased doing something on our own, doing something because someone else is doing it. And now we know where they got it from. And this is the meat, kudo meat. It's similar to 
venison, the deer. This is so it's it's related to the deer. This is a wild animal, and here is the horn that comes from him. Now, again, sounding the alarm on this horn, the Most High did not mean for us to be blowing on this horn. And let's what's in Scripture? Because if that's not in Scripture, then what is? Joshua six and five, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast from the ram's horn when you hear the sound of the trumpet so we're seeing a ram's horn i'm gonna go a little bit into this ram's horn here and the hebrew word is you ball this is the hebrew word you ball the ram ram's horn trumpet so again this is what's in scripture and we should not be blowing on he did not meant for us to be blowing on a wild animal um if anyone knows where this animal at in scripture i have searched i've looked and i have not seen this animal in scripture and if this cannot be found to be in scripture then yes the horn needs to be sound concerning this because again the most high is not is not pleased he's he's pleased with us trying to come back to his law statutes his commandments and his kadosh days he's pleased with that but he's not pleased with us just doing what other nations are doing shalom